yes, that's right. Carlsberg saved the world. Oh, you want to know why? Well, firstly, we need to understand and appreciate how they got to such a quality beer. You know, I just spilled that all over myself. And how it propelled the company to such success because that's what gave them the ability to facilitate and finance their role in saving the world. Let's start at the beginning. So, this guy is the hero of the story. Carl Jacobson, Carlsberg named after this man here. His father, J.C. Jacobson, started the company in 1847. Fucking buses, mate. Who then, upon his father's death, took the company over and made it something fantastic. But his flair and passion for creativity and art really took it to a new dimension. So what made Carl Jacobson so special? He thought outside the box. He had contention with his father. He wanted a different brewing process. But you can see it in his buildings. So this is just, all it is is a chimney. Boilers create the steam which drove the engine and powered the plant. All it is is a natural draft for the boilers. The bricks go up in a winding fashion and it's got like Egyptian lotuses at the top and these dragons coming out. Doesn't matter what it is, beer, anything. It's your attention to detail permeated through every aspect that he touched in his life. So he refused to settle on just something simple. He wanted to make it perfect. A testament to the love of arts and creators. This is one of the most sought after and popular tourist spots. Evidently, look. Little Mermaid off the very famous Hans Christian Andersen story. Carl Jacobson literally had a commission. The guy who pioneered the Carlsberg company. He had it gifted to Copenhagen. Literally all the buses are coming in. Beer brings people. People don't know this though. Like, no one knows that statue's there because of beer. There we go. Carl Jacobson to the city of Copenhagen. You can see he admired this sort of thing, arts and creativity. But great beer doesn't just come from fancy art. There was a problem. Beer was too inconsistent, often resulting in bacterial infection. The flavor, the taste, it wasn't consistent enough. And to create a great company, you need consistency. So he had a group of scientists, chemists. One, an absolute legend, Soren Sorensen. For beer, invented the pH scale. This is not just an average scale. I'm gonna to explain to you why it's so important. Now they know how much acid and how much alkaline. Zero to 14, seven is in the middle. The lower it is, the more acidic. The higher, the more alkaline. The more acidic, the more likely bacterial infection changes the taste. And now they knew exactly how to regulate it and measure where they were at in the process. And it's not just for beer. This pH scale permeates through every single industry. I know I'm just hammering this point home, but it is so important. Phosphoric acid is used in preservatives, fizzy drinks. Nitric acid used in fertilizer, feeds everyone in the world. Potassium hydroxide used in all cleaning products. Aluminium chloride, deodorants, toothpastes, basically everything in your house that cleans your stinky ass. Beer literally creates everything. No, but seriously, pH scale was invented here because of beer, to improve beer. I think that's incredible. Okay, I'm reading all these off a sheet, but you know, we're both learning. So because of this innovative pH scale, it gave them unprecedented access to consistency. Because of this, they managed to build their product to a quality that was then able to propel them into the success they needed to build certain foundations, which we're gonna come on to now. Yeah, you're seeing that right. That's a swastika. It's not a Nazi elephant. Although, as much as we hate Nazis, <laughs> Nazi elephants are very fucking cool. The swastika is actually a Sanskrit symbol, meaning good luck. Also interpreted in Norse mythology in a different way. Um, but it was used as the company emblem until about 1940 when they changed it for obvious reasons. <laughs> These are actually symbolic of his children, four children. So there's four elephants. I think that's quite nice. Anyway, back to the story. Because of such success with the company, they managed to set up this Carlsberg Foundation, which enabled patronage to scientists. So this guy called Niels Bohr, a Danish nuclear physicist, they funded his training for quantum mechanics and nuclear physics. His contributions to the hydrogen atom and understanding it put him onto the world stage and led him onto the next thing. Oh, there's the horses. Yes. The horses are coming. I'm gonna see if I can get on. They're coming down this way. Ah. Can I go on the back? Ah. Gutted, gutted. Because of his understanding of the hydrogen atom and the atomic structure, he was invited and attended the Manhattan Project in the USA, which if you don't know, led to the creation of the atom bomb and the rest is history. That ended the war in spectacular fashion, brutal fashion. Love it or hate it, great for the world or terrible for the world. It all started with beer and I love that. I think this is his house actually. <laughs> See if we can get in. Um, I've got an appointment for the bar. No. No drunkards. I think you'd appreciate me turning up. 